Hi. So today I'm very excited because I have a special guest, Ais Plasquitas, who is a bi and queer affirmative therapist. Welcome. Hi, thank you. I'm so happy you came because today we're going to be talking about a topic that is near and dear to my heart. Um, I have certain passions in life, and one of them is dating bisexual women. So today we're talking about how to date bisexual women. What would be your, let's say, advice? Um, I want to start with checking your expectations and assumptions at the door. Okay. Which we want to do in any relationship, right, anyway? Yeah. But especially with bi women. Um, what are some of those? Let's say, let's start with guys. Let's, what are the okay. assumptions that guys might have? Um, that we're attracted to anything and everything, right, sexually? True, true. Um, don't assume that we want to have a threesome. Yeah. I think that there's like this, ooh, it's hot, let's do a threesome element, but we don't necessarily want that. And, and honestly, we want to be honest here. I mean, people are all different and all unique. So mm -hmm. you can't assume that, first of all, the majority of people are not polyamorous. The majority of people are not polyamorous. But because bisexuals are often confronted with the questions of their sexuality, they tend to be a little bit more woke, shall we mm -hmm. say. So, um, yes. Absolutely, don't assume anything about um, your bi female friend's um, sexuality or what her behaviors might be. But at the same time, you know, understand that bi women have a tendency to be a little bit more woke than most people. Yeah, on the topic. I think we are, we're able to have really complex conversations about sexuality, which I think is a strength. We've had to work really hard and be curious about our own process internally. Mm -hmm. Which only, I think, makes us more capable of expanding our views on love and romantic love and sexual behavior, all of it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Which is kind of cool from yeah. a guy by perspective. I'm proud of it. It's kind of cool. <laughs> and of course, there's that whole topic of cheating. Right. We're not unfaithful just because we're bi. Yeah. And probably not any different from the normal population, right? Right. Yeah. Nothing right. statistically showing that at all. And this is anecdotal, but I hear so many stories about, you know, let's say, lesbians being afraid of bi, guy, of bi women cheating on them. And, and they tell these stories, and then they're asked, uh, well, have any lesbians ever cheated on you? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, but it's the bi women you're afraid of. Oh, 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 oh okay. That makes sense. That makes For sure. sense. Sure, sure. Stay sure. woke. Yeah. Um, and talking of lesbians, mm -hmm. uh, do you have any advice if lesbians want to date bisexual women? Um, I'm not going to leave you for a man. I yes. think, right, I should be allowed to have an attraction and maybe even a fantasy, right? Even if it was just a fantasy and wanted to keep it that way mm -hmm. about being with a man. Um, and that doesn't threaten our relationship necessarily. My attractions don't take away from what we have if you're a primary partner. Right. Yeah. Like get beyond the label. Yeah, exactly. Get beyond the label. And I think probably good advice for anyone, no matter who it is with your relationship with someone, is focus on building a strong relationship. Yeah. Like, the stronger your relationship is, the less and more it insulates you from the fears of cheating, from the fears of being left for someone else. Focus on the relationship. Yeah. And these are not easy conversations to have, I don't yeah. think, with a partner, regardless of your orientation. Um, but it has such a beautiful way of kind of transforming a relationship, I think, and making you stronger and mm -hmm. more secure. What about jealousy? Jealousy. Oh, jealousy. Jealousy. I do think that's very much a unique quality that people carry with the bi community. Mm -hmm. um, in the same way that we just discussed lesbians maybe being scared of a bi woman leaving them for a man. Um, check it. Check internally maybe why you're feeling jealous, what it's really about. Be able to talk about it, but also have maybe an outside professional source to talk to about the jealousy if it becomes all-consuming in a relationship, too. So you're saying, like, talk about the jealousy with your partner to a certain degree? Yeah, I mean, of course also... it can be helpful. Use it in a way that's productive. Yeah. But I don't want every conversation we have around sexuality to be about your jealousy. Yeah. At some point, it's your business to take to a professional like a therapist. <laughs> And I would think that if you're going to talk about jealousy, um, the way you enter the conversation mm -hmm. is kind of important because if you go in there tense and in the mood ready to fight, then yeah, it's right. not a problem. Totally. So that's kind of an important thing. Um, how does masculinity, guys' masculinity, play into 
<laughs> does it? Does Understand it? Understand that your masculinity is not tied to what your bi partner, who your bi partner is attracted to, right? Yeah. Nothing to do. Yeah, it feels with like masculinity. Like being threatened, sort of. Maybe, yeah. Could lead it. Like if a person's being threatened, is it because of, if a straight guy is dating a bi woman and he's feeling threatened, is it because of one's assumption of masculinity, well, I should be good enough, or. Right. Um, does the fact that she's attracted to another type of body um, mean something about your body and all these crazy assumptions? Yeah, right. And of course, uh, there's the idea of honoring her sexuality in a conversation. Yeah, I think it's a really beautiful thing. I, for one, feel really affirmed when I can talk to my partner um, who does identify as gay um, about my sexuality in general. And maybe it is more complex than hers, maybe it's not, I don't know. But they're important conversations to have. I feel seen when I can just talk about my journey. And I imagine if a guy, or even a lesbian, mm -hmm. were open about their feelings, yeah. it would kind of reaffirm who, what you feel and who you are. Yeah, like totally. If they can share who, if you can share who you are to your bi-female partner, kind of just affirms the whole idea that um, being open about one's sexuality is a positive and accepted thing. Yeah. Now, how would someone, if they wanted to, choose to um, talk about sexual history? Because I know as a bi guy, when I am with a bi woman, one of the things I really enjoy is finding about finding out about their sexual history because it's almost like a, a way of bonding with them. Mm -hmm. But this is not, we're not just talking about bi guys here who are bonding, we're talking about also, you know, straight guys and lesbians who might be looking at it from a different perspective. So how does one um, talk about one's sexual history with mm -hmm. a bi woman? Yeah, I mean, I think in general, how do you talk about sexual history? It's hard sometimes, depending on where you're at in your relationship. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, be weary that, like, why are you asking about sexual history, right? Is it because I'm bi or because you're actually curious? I would question why you're asking the questions you are. Um, if it's about if I've been with someone of the opposite gender or the same gender and it becomes about gender and insecurity, it becomes a little problematic and I might feel very singled out or othered or put on the spot. Right, so you probably don't want to be, um, and I used to time when we have a conversation. <laughs> right. We're gonna be talking about your sexual history. <laughs> Go. I mean, that might not be comfortable, I'm guessing. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Well, um, I think this has been very helpful, and I think I've become now an expert on dating by women. I'm just saying, yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah, good luck with that, no kidding. Um, but I'm so glad that you were here to help us kind of work through this, to kind of understand how it is that we can honor the people we're with, mm -hmm. especially the by women, because I, honestly, I just, I just love them so much. I really do. I really do, and I'm hoping that you get a chance as well, because they're really, really they're kind of fantastic. I'm just saying. I agree. Yeah. Thank you for having me. And I'm so glad you were here. If you'd like to support the channel, um, you can check out my t-shirts on Teespring. And also, you can uh, subscribe to the channel. We do many videos on my sexual topic, but we don't frequently. So if you want to know when a video comes out, you can click on that little subscribe button and the little bell. And it'll let YouTube know, uh, to tell YouTube to let you know when a new video is coming out. Until next video, stay cooler, my bisexual friend. Stay cooler. <laughs> Bye.